Welcome to Digital Toolbox. In this tutorial we're going to go over implementing a very basic definition for uh, louvers on a cladding. So here we have a, a simple wall that we've created and in, in Rhino and now we're going to apply different uh, louvers that we can toggle the, the number of louvers, uh, the orientation, and the cross-section uh, as well as the, the height. So these louvers uh, are in Rhino are going to be defined in Grasshopper and then our original geometry here in Rhino. So we'll pop open Grasshopper and you can see uh, what's what's going on here. We have three these three definition uh, these three kind of individual definitions uh, all for the those three cladding. So I'll go ahead and delete these two and zoom into this one right here. So this is it. It's uh, a few simple buttons, and um, I'll just go ahead and delete the meat of it so we can walk through it. So it's going to start out with a curve, which uh, in in Rhino will be the the base of our of our cladding. So uh, in our our wall right here, I've exploded the the curves from this opening, so I can get this this curve down here and that'll be the base curve. So let me go ahead and set that right now. I'll set one curve and click on that curve and there we go. So that's set and now our uh, cladding will be derived from that. I also have a few sliders here. One's from uh, like 5 to 30 or so and that'll be the divisions for the divi number of uh, louvers that we'll have, uh, the number of members and then the cross section will be defined by these two right now it's a 2 by 4 and um, these will have to be reduced down to inches but that'll be our basic uh, cross section of our, our member and then the height will be the, the span of the be the span of the uh, uh, opening we have right here so uh, very simply we just go under curve division and divide curve and here we'll just connect C back to curve and then N is going to ask for the number of segments so we'll drop that back to our division uh, 17 so you can see here that as I toggle the number of divisions the uh, the number of points uh, repopulates on the on that curve so that's uh, the main function of the the divide curve those are equal equal length segments so now on those points, we're going to generate a box. So under surface primitive, go to interval box. And this gives us uh, a box based on B, which is going to be our base plane, which is just 0, 0, 0 to, uh, to begin with. And then we're going to put that base plane on each of these individual points. So you can see here that it's generating these one by one by one boxes on each of those points. So one by one by one is uh, uh, defined locally in these numbers x, in uh, x, y, and z right here. So we'll just go ahead and uh, take these back to our individual sl sliders. So the height is going to be nine, nine feet, but we can uh, we can toggle that to uh, whatever we want. And then the with the x the the cross section is going to be a two by four which will be the X and the Y. But right now, since our project is in uh, feet, units, we're going to have to reduce this down. So I'll go under Scalar, or uh, yeah, Scalar, and get a uh, F1 uh, function, a single variable function, it's under Logic. I'll grab that and drop that down here, and then uh, I can double click on it and edit the expression. So in the expression editor, I'll just do x divided by 12, and this will uh, drop us back down to unit uh, to inch units. So then we just drop in our our two and our four into these uh, into the the function, and you can see it's already reducing down that two, and now the four. So now we have a two by four cross section divided uh, 14 times along this curve and um, with a height of whatever we specify. So we can go back and change the, the cross-section of the board 
as well as uh, in, in either direction, as well as the height and the number of divisions on that curve. So once you create a basic definition like this, but you have uh, many individual uses for it, then we can just go and copy this and uh, set it to uh, other curves too. So this new one, we'll, we've just copied, we'll set this one curve to uh, this middle opening right here. And this could be uh, a very different from your original uh, your original opening that you did, but now you've uh, taken the time to create that one basic definition that can apply to any any number of curves. So that's just a, a simple type of workflow to uh, maximize the potential of Grasshopper with Rhino.